Hello, 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 everyone. Um, welcome back to my kitchen. Well, today we're gonna do a harvest, harvest video, <laughs> haul video. Um, except for we're gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna go over everything. We're gonna look at it all. I'm gonna discuss with you why we got it and what I plan on doing with it. So let's get started. The first part of my haul video video is all the fruit I got. I got myself some beautiful peaches. Oh, these are just gorgeous. And they're my favorite kind of peaches. They're fuzzy peaches. We love these. Then I got, this is all from Costco. Just so you guys know. Then I got some California cherries. I believe these are Bing cherries. Oh, they're cordial cherries. Okay, yep, they're dark cordial cherries. And then I got strawberries. A big two pound container of strawberries. This is, I believe two pounds. Yep, two pounds of cherries. And then a pound of raspberries. And two pounds of blueberries. And then two beautiful fresh pineapples. Mmm, they smell so good, you guys. Yum. So, uh, this is all my fruit. I paid $7.99, $7.99 for the peaches. You know what? Hang on. I'm going to grab the receipt. All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, what we have is I paid $7.99 for the peaches. I paid um, a $2.39 for both pineapples. Both pineapples were $2.39 for both of them. Um, the strawberries were $3.99. The raspberries were $5.99. The cherries were $9.99 and the blueberries were $7.49. Now, no, I'm not making jams and jellies out of these, so don't get excited. What I am doing is I'm going to be breaking them all down and putting them in small Ziploc baggies. I'm going to be cutting the peaches up. I'm going to pit all the cherries. I'm going to cut the tops off the strawberries and cut them all in half. I'm going to be cutting all the blueberries in half. Um, I'm going to be cutting up all the raspberries and I'm going to make them into little... And the pineapples, I'm going to be cutting them up too. And I'm going to be making them into little fruit packets and freezing them. Because what I'm going to make is we're going to be doing in fruit infused water. It's summer. It's hot. It's a good thing to have fruits in your diet. Um fruit is really good for you infused water is really good for you so what I'll do is I've got a big pitcher I got myself a big glass pitcher at Walmart for $5.99 and I'm gonna be making infused water my children love cold water ice cold water and they really want me to make infused water so I'm gonna do that and whatever fruit is left over at the bottom of the pitcher when I'm done with it because it'll only take you know I know my kids it'll take my kids maybe one day to get through their pitcher of infused water so any of the fruit that's left at the bottom will turn around and get refrozen and when I'm done with using all the fruit and I've got reused fruit frozen fruit things um, I'll pull each of the fruit bags out one at a time as I want them when I want them and I'll send them through the blender and make breads out of them so that nothing gets wasted so that I can make fruit bread and infused water so that's what I'm doing with my fruit portion of my haul. On to the next part. We'll be back you guys. Bananas. That's 
the next thing I got. Um, my kids just eat them. They love just eating straight bananas. So I picked them up a big package of bananas at Costco. I paid a dollar twenty-four for this nice, nice big package of bananas. That's what I'm gonna do with it. Let them eat it. All right, guys. On to the next thing. All right, guys. Here I have just everyday use stuff. Um, I'm not doing anything fancy with it. I'm not planning on making anything special out of any of this. This is just stuff that we use every day. Um, the Captain Crunch. Uh, we love going to Costco because there is so much stuff that you can get really cheap for bulk. Now, in our house, my kids do not eat cereal as if it's breakfast. Sugary stuff like this does not get eaten in my house for breakfast it is not a breakfast my kids eat this as snack like afternoon snack evening snack things like that and then they're forced to brush their teeth right afterwards because like i said it's sugary so they just eat it as a snack and that's what we use it for um you get three boxes of them for seven Forty-nine. I love Costco for the price of their cereals. It's really nice. I got peanut butter crunch, oops, all berries crunch, and just regular plain old Captain Crunch berries. So my kids will have those as snacks. Next, big thing of cheese. There's Swiss, Cheddar, Colby Jack, and Monterey Jack. Swiss, Monterey Jack. Um, cheddar, oh wait, sorry, Colby Jack, cheddar, um, Monterey, Mont, Monterey Jack on the bottom here. Um, I always do that. I always get Monterey and Colby mixed up. The Monterey is all white without any holes in it like the, um, Swiss has. And the Colby Jack is a mixture of Monterey and cheddar mixed up chopped to pieces yeah that's colby jack for you these we use them on sandwich um meat and cheese sandwiches my kids make themselves sandwich snacks and there we go they're great for sandwiches um that big block of cheese it's two pounds it's got four flavors does it actually give me a number of slices in here? About 10 slices. Okay. Well, it doesn't give me a thing. Um, I'd have to say there's about a dozen pieces of each cheese in there, which is really nice. And I paid... Oh, where's the cheese, you guys? Where's the cheese? I think it was like seven something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Seven ninety nine for the four cheeses. So, there we go. Sandwich cheese, pickles. My kids, my son eats these um, like they're candy. He has what are called pickle parties, which is he pulls out a small cup. Or a small bowl. Hang on, let me grab it. I'm very picky about how much he's allowed to have. It's just a little small bowl. And he's not allowed to have any more than what this fills up. So he'll get about five or six pickles, depending upon the size of the pickles, in a jar. And he's allowed to have one pickle party a day. So these jars of pickles will last him a while. But I also, um, I think I've showed you this before. I pull out my pickles. I put them through the chop chopper in my, um, my ninja chopper. And then I put them in a big uh, quart jar and top it off with pickle juice. So that I have chopped pickles ready to go. Chopped pickles for hamburgers. Chopped pickles for hot dogs. Chopped pickles for any of that stuff. I paid $4.99 per half gallon jar. I love Costco. 
next these are a rare treat for my family we got them on sale they were doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. hang on guys $9.99 um, they're little short beef sticks these are uh, beef jerky or mm, I guess not beef jerky um, jerky sticks because beef jerky I believe is the flat stuff the sliced thin flat stuff um, these are kind of like um, Slim Jims. My son and husband love Slim Jims. Um, and these ones, they tried them at the store. They were really good. Really good. But what was important is no hormones to the animals and no nitrates. So they're slow dried with no nitrates. They're not... Ugh, it's... Uh, look into nitrates. Nitrates aren't the best for you. Small doses. You know, small doses won't... Small, very, very small doses won't hurt you. But you don't want to go overboard on nitrates. Um, they're not good for you. Nitrates can lead to headaches and migraines. Um, I suffer migraines, so I have to be careful with nitrates. So, there we go. That's just... My husband and son will snack on those. They'll be allowed to have two sticks each per day. No more than that. I make my family make stuff last. I have rules. You're only allowed to have so much. You're only allowed to have so much. Because otherwise, if I don't regulate them, and I'm sure you other mothers out there know, and other fathers out there know, they will devour everything until it's gone. So. I give them rules on how much they're allowed to have. I don't give my husband rules, obviously, because he's an adult and capable of making his own decisions. But my children do have rules on how much of something they're allowed to eat per day. It helps regulate their diet, what they take, and my children also have the rule of they have to ask mom before they take anything. So, two of these a day, and they should last a while. Next, honey. Raw, unfiltered honey. This um, doesn't have the uh, big chunks of like cone and wax in it because some of the stuff that I get does have that in it. This is just the honey itself, which is fine. Um, this will last me for a long time. I use, I use honey for all kinds of stuff you guys and I'm sure you guys do too um next um this is one of my favorite things about Costco double bread for the price of single bread I paid I believe three something for these hang on guys bread 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 uh, $3.99 $3.99 for two loaves of the country hearth bread um 12 grain uh this is my family's my kids's favorite bread my husband's favorite bread is cottage bread or potato bread um i only buy bread in the summer when it's way too hot to be cooking and baking in my house um i live in a modular home so whether or not I have central AC, this is a one great big metal box. It heats up in here in the summertime. So in the summertime, I do buy bread. In the wintertime, I bake all my own bread. But, being as it's summer, we bought two loaves of bread. This will last my kids a couple of weeks of sandwiches, a sandwich per day, and they're good. Um, if my kids have sandwiches for lunch, they add things to it my kids don't just eat a sandwich they have fruit they have veggie sticks um sometimes they'll have salads to go along with their um sandwiches my kids don't eat just a sandwich we like to have very well-rounded very well-balanced meals for them and last in my just everyday usage Chocolate milk. I mean, come on. You gotta spoil your kids every once in a while. Chocolate milk. Um, as far as white milk goes, fresh milk goes, I get it from 
the uh, natural grocers in town so that I'm getting um, pretty much raw milk um, so that my kids are getting the high fat content um, the vitamins and minerals in their milk and it's not been it's been pasteurized but it hasn't been homogenized and I get my white milk over there and the chocolate milk was $3.59 so yay all right guys there is my everyday use stuff we'll be back for the next round of things and i've got some interesting stuff to talk about in the next round one thing i did forget to say when it comes to my bread i leave one of them out and the other one goes in the freezer great tip for making bread last longer um you shouldn't put it in the fridge and let it sit in the fridge for you know a week week and a half because it does cause your bread to dry out and get more stale but if you freeze it in like I have a sub-zero freezer arctic freezer whatever you want to call it up here we call it sub-zero other places they call it arctic um, being as we are in the north they put sub-zero on the freezers when they send them up here in the south um, and in other countries, I've noticed that they call them Arctic freezers. Don't know why. That's just how manufacturers do it. Words that they use to sell people stuff. Anyways, into the freezer the second loaf goes. Alright guys, next up, this is short and sweet and simple. I just have my organic sugar. It's 10 pounds of organic cane sugar. I absolutely love this. Can you make tacos out of them? No, we cannot make tacos out of a Mimi. Okay, tacos shouldn't have sugar in them anyway. That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got myself this giant box of Ziplocs. I love this. It's 347 bags. There's a big thing of gallons, a big thing of quarts, a big thing of snacks, and a big thing of sandwiches. And I paid... $14.69 minus $3, so I paid $11.69 for this. Yeah. I'm going to start all my tacos in them. Your tacos. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll be back for the next clip. Hopefully, Mimi won't. <laughs> so I was looking at my receipt, and I noticed that I forgot to show you this when I pulled out my just everyday eating food. Um, these are my son's absolute favorite string cheese. Now, with string cheese, I allow my son to have two pieces of string cheese every day. One in the morning, one in the evening, no more. He doesn't need any more than that. It's not actually good for you to just sit and munch on a ton of cheese. Um, it can cause constipation. Um, and, well, it's cheese. You shouldn't just be eating a ton of it anyways. But for me, I love this because it's a 60-pack. And it's $8.75. And at Walmart, I pay $7.99 for a 30-pack. So for $0.75 cents more, I get twice as much. So for me, this is well worth the cost. All right, guys. I'll be back with my meat to show you what we're going to do with that. All right. I was going to do my meat next, but we're going to do this and do meat last. All right, here, um, I pick up big one-pound blocks because there's quite a bit of things I bake that need a whole pound of butter, um, pound cake, um, cream cheese, um, several different things. There's lots of different things that I need one full pound of butter for. So I buy one-pound blocks from um, Costco. Now, this will actually last me quite a while. The last time I had to buy these was Christmas time. And I just ran out. It's been six months, so pfft, there we go. Um, it'll last me a while. That'll go in my freezer, and I only pull them out the day before I need them, defrost it, and then use it. Next thing, the sweet bell peppers. What I'm going to do, and what I always do when I buy them in big bulk like this, is I slice them really thin, freeze them into individual meal Ziploc baggies, um, 
put them into individual freezer Ziploc baggies, and then freeze them. And that's why I buy the big containers like this, because I'll get like five or six meals out of this. Um, I mix them all up so that the meal has yellow, orange, and yellow in it. And the last thing is these mini French rolls. My family loves them. Three quarters of them will be turned into um, cheese pizza buns, or pepperoni pizza buns, or hamburger pizza buns. Um, I put pizza sauce on them, I put pepperoni or hamburger on them, and then I put cheese on top of them, and then I freeze them in the freezer on a tray, and then I put them in Ziploc baggies, and freeze them into, I, I, they, they open up in half. See that split down the middle? And become two pieces. And then um, I generally freeze uh, eight pieces at a time. So four buns at a time. Um, for my family, my kids and my husband like to just throw them in the oven for like ten minutes you can also throw them in a toaster oven for like 10 minutes on 350 and they've got themselves little poor man pizzas to eat they're great snacks they're quick they're easy i don't have to do anything for them they're already pre-made and ready to go so when i'm busy and i'm doing things and they're like we're hungry we want a snack i can say go to the freezer and pull out yourself pizza pizza buns and they can whip themselves up pizza buns without me having to do anything other than the prep for them. Now, when I do the prep for these and get them all done, and I get all the prep done for these peppers, I will come back and show you what that looks like. But for now, I'm going to let you go. I'll be back. I'll be back with all the meat that I bought, and I'll show you those. So, we'll be back, you guys. I'll... Right, all right, guys. This one is gonna be short and simple. All right, here my pork tenderloins with Truscan seasoning. I absolutely love these. My family loves these, these are one of our favorite dinners. Um, generally, I make them with stuffing or potatoes, and of course, vegetables or salad. Um, I just in the winter time. Fry them in the oven, roast them in the oven, or in the summertime, I'll throw them on my grill and cook them. Don't need to add any seasoning, don't need to add any barbecue sauce or any of that fancy stuff. These are one of my absolute and one of my family's absolute favorite things from Costco. I get them, I get it for $3.39 a pound. Again, we don't mind every once in a while paying a little bit higher price for a few things here and there that we enjoy one of them is the pork tenderloins with Truscan seasoning I pay $3.39 a pound for it I have almost four and a half pounds this was $15 and like I said I will break it in half and I'll get two meals out of it and out of those two meals I'll have enough leftover meat for the next day to be able to either make my husband a couple of wraps to go with him for dinner or a couple of wraps one for my son one for my daughter for lunch or dinner the next day um, when my husband's working we are at home alone while for dinner while he is at work so five out of seven days a week we eat dinner without him um, so like I said leftovers will either be used the next day for lunch for wraps or for dinner I make wraps and we add things to it you know a side of salad um, fruit on the side any number of things on the side um, but this makes two really nice meals for us next um, chicken thighs you've seen what I do with these I oven fry these um, in my big cast iron wok with um, Italian zesty Italian seasoning for dinner now my family me and my daughter don't mind chicken on the bones but my husband and my son don't like chicken on the bone 
so I like I said I oven fry these in the oven in my cast iron wok with Italian dressing or zesty Italian dressing and then um, all the meat just easily peels off the bone and then when I'm all done cooking it I cut this in half cut it in half I use just three of them at a time because I always end up with leftovers leftover chicken again next day gets used for wraps or salads um but then I bag the bones and freeze the bones and I use the bones to make a bone broth later now with chicken drumsticks these I'm going to be cooking up right away. What I do is I throw these in the oven in the winter time or on the grill in the summertime in my big um, copper um, roaster and I cook them all completely and then I go through and peel them all off the bone and hang on a second I'll grab a jar to show you. Then I just can them in little quart sized jars. All the meat that I've peeled off the bones. Um, I can it in quart sized jars. And the quart sized jars work perfect for um, one meal for my family for wraps or for salads or for chicken quesadillas. And then I freeze the bones. Put them in a Ziploc baggie, freeze the bones. And when I've got like five to ten pounds worth of chicken bones all saved up I turn around and make chicken bone broth so there we go you guys my whole haul um, plus all the ideas and the things that I do with it I hope this video gave you some ideas on things that you can do with um, food when you buy in bulk um, gives you some ideas outside the box of things you can think of for your own family so maybe you can start thinking of different things you can buy in bulk and different ways you can use them all right guys thanks for coming along and we'll see you in the next one and remember everyone stay positive bye oh I forgot to tell you everything you saw today everything I got today I paid hundred and seventy seven dollars for everything for my family, that is a great price. Some of this stuff, like the meat, um, the peppers I'm going to be breaking down, the fruit I'm going to be breaking down. I'm going to have certain aspects of the food will last me several months. Certain aspects of the food will last me two days. So, alright guys. Like I said, thanks for coming along. And we'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay positive. Bye. Alright guys, I told you I'd bring you back and show you everything. First here is my peppers. Um, they're sliced down. They're half pound of peppers or about two cups of pep sliced peppers in each bag. I've got seven bags. Then here I've got two pound bags of fruit. Um, a couple of these are two pounds. A couple of them are one and a half pounds. And here's one and a half pounds. The one and a half pound bags will have a half a pound of pineapple added to them. I just haven't sliced and gotten all the pineapple cut up. And then the two pound bags themselves will be just the two pound bag. And those will go in the water. And then we put them in the bottom of our big glass jar. We squish them and smash them a little bit. Add water on top of it. Ice on top of it. And let them sit and infuse together for about five to six hours and then the kids can drink infused water and it's that easy all right guys there we go fruit already peppers already all right guys thanks for coming along and we'll see you in the next one and remember everyone stay positive bye